Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be making faux invoices and um, ledger paper kind of document kind of things. So, I had a comment on my shipping tags video asking if I could try and do the invoices. So, I thought, yeah, of course, love to. And sorry, but my OCD is messing with my camera angle. Right, so I went through my stash of stamps again first off i'm gonna do some in my invoice duplicate book you know the one that i did in my i i coffee dyed all the pages i'm not going to do the invoice page but in between each invoice page is a, a blank page and that they're the ones that i'm going to stamp on i also have some of this which i brought off of amazon 70 sheets and um I didn't expect, I thought it was just going to be more sort of like natural tea dyed paper um, is what I thought it was going to be, um, which would have saved me tons of time. But it's not, it's actually printed, but I don't hate it. So we're going to play on these as well. Um, I'll put the link in the description box down below just in case you're interested. I'm not going to do a full, you'll have to excuse, if you hear the noise of Tinkerbell, um, it's my security system because i've got my ipad just here with the cameras on so i can see the dogs in the garden and see if anyone comes to the gate so yeah ignore that anyway i digress so yeah i will link this down below in case anybody's interested i'm not going to do a full length a4 but i might uh, i don't know yet um i'm gonna do sort of smaller ones because i understand that stamps um they don't sort of like accommodate for full a4 sheets of paper um i'm going to do it away with the stamps and i'm also going to show you a way that if you don't have the stamps you can still make um, one of these documents so right let's get on right so here are a couple of examples that i made so there's this long one and it's oh, i love it <laughs> i do love it it's made with a mixture of my stamps and perfect Here's another one. This is made from the, um, let me just, from the duplicate, invoice duplicate book. Uh, and, oh, it just feels, it feels so cool. So that's, this is another one. And this was made, I was, when I was going through my stash, I found these. Now, I, when I was in my old craft room, I kind of remember doing these. These papers are the ones that when I was using my distress inks and my sprays, the, I used to use these as mop-ups. So these are my mop-up sheets is what I call them. Um, and that's why they're all different colours. But wow. So I picked one of those out and I used one of those and I have that. So here's three of my vintage invoices. And I'm now going to just quickly go through my stamps and um, show you what kind of stamps I'm going to be using. So I do have quite a few um, of my Tim Holtz. So we are going to be using Ledger Script. We are going to be using the Inspector. We are going to be using Curiosities. We are going to be using Dapper, Eccentric, Correspondence, um, Maybe Documented, and also Flower Shop, etc., going somewhere exquisite now these um and gothic tapestry these are actually halloween stamps but look at the type is perfect um and even you can't really see this one because it's stuck behind the but look at that that is that's perfect for the header of an invoice absolutely perfect so don't literally go through all your stamps i even have my christmas stamps out because of the parcel post and even though it says christmas card record well you know it's still cool um so i've even got and the special delivery as well i know you've got that on other stamp sets but i you know pull out any kind of stamp sets you like so i have those right so first off we're going to use the other piece of this and make another long one let me just Right, so first off, I want both the edges to look the same. So, 
I'm going to... Oh, flipping me paper about. Right, let's do it this way. I only want a little bit off, just a smidgen. I'm going to turn it over this way. Just the tiniest little bit. Right, let's put it straight. And let's, if we want off this much... There we are, right. Put the ruler up against the white line. That's it. Perfect. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rink it off first. And just like when I did on this one, um, I did a little trifold. So it was kind of, you know, there's your invoice. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with this and I'm going to ink it up first. So this one, I'm just, just guess it, just wing it. Doesn't matter really. It's just how they kind of used to fold envelopes in the olden days. So then just give them a score and then I'm just going to get a file folder. And first off, right, so I've got three colours that I'm using today. Um, and they are Vintage Photo, Tea Dye and Ground Espresso. Now, there's a reason that I am, have, I've got these three colours. So first off, I'm going to age with Tea Dye. Just round the edges. And you wait until you see the one where you don't need stamps. I do. I think it's genius, even if I do say so myself. <laughs> I am very proud of myself. For I mean, I literally just sat there and was just like, hmm, that'll work. So first off, we'll do the ones where we're using stamps. And then I'll show you how to do them without stamps. Right, so this is the inside. So just go with the tea dye. Again, just go along the edges because we want them to be creased. Now this is the outside. So just use tea dye on the outside and then it starts to look like that. Now on the inside, I also want you to use tea dye. Up either side like that. And again on this one. So run it down and then just, I'm sure you all know how to distress. The last one, again, just across the top. But now, I will, I'm going to get out my ground espresso and my dark I can't remember what it's called my dark felt pad right so um, bear with me because mind you dirty fingers don't matter because they're old documents right so what I'm going to do is I'm just just the edges just go round the edges on each crease or on one just do one side and can you see where I'm just sort of dabbing it so it sort of comes around the corner do it on both sides and then the last one I'm going to do it on the opposite side. And then, as you can see, can you see, it kind of just makes those corners look older than just the tea dyed ones. So it, like, it's, it's almost like them corners have had more wear. 
So then I'm just going to... And what I... Because it's paper, I want it to lift the paper up like that. And it will do it. It will do it just naturally if you just swirl round. It will lift up the paper on each corner. And there is your start of your aged document. Just going to quickly... Just so it catches some of the rip bits. There you go. And it... Perfect. Oh, oh well. Never mind. Never mind. Right, now what we want to do is we want to look for some stamps. Firstly, I'm going to get my stamp platform and I have got a piece of foam. I had a big um, A4 piece of foam from, it's a three millimetre and um, it's off of, from Amazon. It's just the foam um, adhesive back because I used to, well, I don't used to, but I love to make my own stamps and this stuff is, whew, that's not moving. It's proper sticky. So like I said, it's three millimetres. So all I did was I cut it down to my stamp platform so that it was the perfect size because um, Elizabeth Craft Design are clear stamps. They're not, oh, they're not foam stamps. So I needed a little something to help me out. So I'm going to, I'm going to take this off because I want to lay it where I, where I want it. So So I think I want it over this side more. The other one I had over down this side a bit more. Yep, I think that will do. And then that leaves me... Oh, strongest magnets in the world. That leaves me room to put me magnets down here without... Interfering with the stamp. Right, so now let's... Oh, perfect. And I'm going to do this in oh, this, this stamp platform. So rig. I'm going to do this in... I'm going to do it in the Nocturne by Versafine Claire. But... I'm only randomly randomly stamping the ink pad. I really, I am really not fussed if it's Mr. Number or Mr. Bit of a Line or anything like that. But yet you watch, this will be a perfect stamp now just because I've said that. Push down. Doesn't really matter. See, that to me is perfect. A little bit too much. I'm going to push just down. That's it. Perfect. Oh, I've even got a rim of the stamp pad. But uh, I don't mind. I don't mind. So there's the start of of your invoice. And the magnets keep the foam on. But I don't want to stick the foam on it because I like using Tim Holtz stamps on it. Right, so that's that done. And that suits me just fine. And now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little line stamp from my postcard set from Heidi Swap. Right, and now turn it upside down just because it's easier. Now I'm going to get my red stamp because that's the mood I'm in. And I'm just going to... Oh, I just want to test this stamp first. Yep, it's not joined at the ends, which is perfect. So, oh, it's a bit wonky. Oh, 
Is that straight? No. Come on, Tone, get it right. Right, so I'm just going to... I'm going to come off the end, dab, and then do it again. And hopefully this won't be too far off. Oh, I'm impressed with that. But I'm also going to do one just underneath here. So it looks like that black line was meant to be there, even though it wasn't. Happy accidents. Right, so I'm going to put this back. I'm going to get this set out because it's got a cool number set down the side. Oh, I need my big one for this. Right, and I'm going to do... I can't... I'm useless at putting stamps on straight. I think I just must have issues with straight lines. Right. I'm going to do this in red as well. And I'm just going to over to the edge. Nope, in the middle. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm going to use my... Um, darkroom door number melody because I just want some oh I just want some numbers on there and I'm going to use this one nope that one's too small and again I'm going to do this in the black but just random and then I'm just going to go down perfect oh, I'm loving it um, right now let's have a look so da, 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 da. let's have a look for A title. I think I'm going to put this one down the side as well. This one is, oh, it's off of. Where did I just grab you from? Ah, it. it's off of the documented. Um, I'm going to do this one in black. And I'm going to put this. Just there. Perfect. Right. Now, I need a title. Um, I liked those, and I think that would fit there perfectly. Um, what else as well? Off of the dapper. So, I'm going to use this again. Because I thought that was a cool heading. Right, so I'm going to... First off... Uh, I think I'm going to do this upside down. I oh, know, but I should be fine. Um, I'm going to do it in the brown. Right, so I've got fallen leaves. So I'm going to do that in the brown. I'm going to do it upside down. Da -da! that's probably a bit dark but that's fine and then i'm going to do this in the black just one stamp across the stamp right upside down turn upside down and then right we're down oh perfect Perfect. I love this stamp. Where did I get it from? Right off of the dapper. Um, and then there's also repairs receive constant attention. So we have that. I think it might be a little too big, but it might go down here. 
yes and i'm going to do this as well in the fallen leaves but only lightly because whew, this stamp set's proper juicy in fact do you know what i'm going to i'm going to take off the word repairs right so it says receive constant attention and that i'm going to put down the bottom there now i want some numbers mm, 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 mm. and this is where good old kathy comes into it um right so i want this is it the right way up no I've probably been putting it on all my projects upside down. And I want a bit of blue. Do I want a bit of blue? I want a bit of, no, I want a bit of blue. Right. And I'm just going to put this blub, just there. Just there, like that. And then I want a signature. Uh, I want this, oh, do I want that long? No, I want this squiggly one. Uh, where's my black ink pad? There it is. And I'm going to put the signature just underneath that seal. As if, yep, I've signed for it. And then in the top corner, I've put these on all of them. So again, in red because... It's important. And in the top corner, I've just used one, four, three. And there you have a vintage invoice. And then also ruffle up your corners and then give them a bit of a, I want to white bits. And then just give it a bit of a, like it's been handled instead of just brand new. And then go over it so you pick up only lightly with the residue that's already on your dobber so you pick up some of the creases that you've just made and there's one of your invoices and then it just holds up like that thank you i'll pay it in the next 28 days how cool is that i love it right now i am going to show you how to make one without stamps because mm, i need to make some space for this one because woohoo right i'm gonna make this one where's my pad where's my pad where's my pad there's my pad i'm gonna get a blank sheet now i'm gonna have to go in order because just because i have to go in order and this is perfect because it's already a bit naturally ripped. Suits me. We're going to age it again. Now, this one, I'm going to use Vintage Photo Oxide. So, just... Again, look, it will naturally... The paper will naturally curl. So, just let it, let it do its thing. See, it will naturally just want to grab the paper, which it only adds to the effect of making it look old. So that's that. And then just going to put some, some dobs on. Right, now what I'm going to do is, I want this to be straight. And I want this to be straight. And I'm going to get an old ruler. And I'm going to move everything out of the way because I need a bit of space for this. I'm going to get my black ink pad. And this seems to be easier if I turn it this way for some reason. 
Right, now I'm going to get my blanket, black ink pad and I'm just going to go along the ink pad with the ruler and it picks up all the ink. And then, because I want, line it up on your mat so you can get a straight line and then press down. Ta-da! And then we're going to do the turn it round and we're going to do the same this side. So I want a bit of a bigger gap because I want a title. So again, line up with your mat. Ta -da! And then if you don't want any more lines up this way, that's fine. Again, make sure your thing is your straight and go along with the ruler and then all right so put this here and we want a line at the end so line it up with that there you go there's the start of an invoice with no stamps ruler and an ink pad if you haven't got a ruler and you haven't got an ink pad then it looks like you're freehanding it with a biro, I'm afraid. But that, love it, absolutely love it. And you can go all the way down if you just, if you wanna do lines, I don't, but if you wanna do lines, then you, you're you more than welcome to. Um, I am, now I'm gonna decorate. What do, I'll tell you what I want at the top. I'm going to use that one. Um, yes. Will that fit? Urgh, no. Um, oh, well. Right. I'm going to... Right. So, I'll use... Yeah. I'll use Merchant Taylor from Dapper stamp set. Let's use this. And we're going to do it in the black. Again, don't worry too much about the ink on your stamp because it's old. I'm going to do it upside down again because unless you want to see my head bobbing under the, car under the camera, which I doubt you do, this is a lot easier doing it upside down. Right, so. <coughs> Perfect. Look at that. Oh, I love it. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do just because of how that ended up on the go in with my ruler and ink again dad and then i want another one really close to it dad Ooh, look at that i love it I absolutely love it. Wipe me ruler. And now, um, what else do we want? I'm pretty sure I had a stamp set that had an address on it. Ah, right. So, there's number 68 Market Street. And I'm going to do this in the fallen leaves. It's wonky again. And I'm going to put this just down the bottom. I'm going to put it in the middle. Just there. Because that's where they normally put their address. I'm going to use this one. Will that fit on there? just right and i'm gonna do this oh, shall i do it in red shall i do it in red no i'm gonna do it in fallen leaves just darting darting over right so i want the numbers down here i wonder if i can get that line to match up oh we never know we might have near enough near enough 
but I like that. Um, what else do we have? I wonder if that will, that will, it will fit down there, you know, it will. All right, I think this, one, nope, nope. I'm gonna do the numbers and everything else. Look at that, yep, right. And now, where's my little block? I want, I'm not gonna put one, four, three, because I've literally got one, four, three on all my invoices. <laughs> not that I mind. Um, this time, I'm gonna have, no. Because you can't have half of an invoice, can you? So, number 12 and a half. Right, let's do this. And I'm going to do this in the red. I'm just going to put this in there, just like that. And then I want a little box just down... in this corner, that's fine. Because I think it's upside down as well, so hey-ho. Um, another seal stamp, which again, upside down, come on time, get with it. Plonk in there. And oh, I do like, I'm gonna have this one. I don't know what it says. Look at that. <sighs> I'm gonna put another number. Upside down. <sighs> what is going wrong with me today? Up in this corner. Perfect. And then I want the received because I love I love this. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this in the red as well because a received stamp would come in red, wouldn't it? And just slightly on the slant, just there. Did you hear that? That was the, that was the tractor next door. I don't know what he's doing. All right, I've got a load of numbers here, so I'm going to... Stamp those there. And I think that one's done. And that's... How you make an invoice... Without needing the grids. And I'm pretty sure you could do exactly the same on the shipping tags as well if you used your ruler um i reckon you could i'll probably you could probably even get away with using your bone folder let's let's shall we test it let's test it and see what line your bone folder makes oh it makes two. Oh, look at that no it makes one. Oh, how did i get two ah i wobbled it right so if you wobble it, you get two. That's quite cool. Bear with me. Right. I am. I'm going to test this. Let me get another. Right. So I'm going to test this. Um, oh, I've got other things as well that I know people might have. The platform that comes with your sidekick. That's quite a thick line, but it could work. Oh, look how I've ripped my invoice out. Oh, well, um, let's try this. Oh, 
no no right so that doesn't work so your sidekick doesn't work but what else let's try this one yeah that works yeah it's a bit smudgy but you know it's a vintage invoice so that's okay um what else have i got that we could use packaging everybody's got packaging Ta -da! and it wipes off it's perfect so have a look around your craft room because you don't need to have the grid stamps or line stamps to do vintage invoices um or to do shipping tags because you can literally just use the stuff around what you've got and i absolutely these are just so cool i'm so chuffed with them i'm now i'm going to go and make some more they're just they're just absolutely brilliant and they look genuine and i can scan them and use them over and over again i love these two tall ones but I have to say, this one is cool as well. I do like this one. It needs a bit more. It looks a little bit new. Looks, you know, like. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. This one's cool as well. Um, that stamp was from. It's a whole stamp. And it is. Let me have a look. Um, da, 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 da. Right, so that stamp is from Curiosities, and it's it's that one there. But what I also wanted to show you was, if you have the new Tim Holtz, the Inspector stamp set, don't forget there's a line stamp there, and I'll show you what it looks like, because I think it'd look fabulous in red down the bottom of this invoice right let's put this straight come on that's it and then just Ta -da! love it so there's another one i'm wondering as well if you could use now, I'm going to test it. There's my sheet of paper. There it is. Your stamp sets. Has anybody got any plastic or anything? Let's have a go. Because it, it, will, it will come off and you just... Um, yeah, I think you need to... There you go. And then look, it just wipes off. So you could use the edge of your plastic stamps if you wanted a thicker line. Use your blocks. There's all sorts you can use, but definitely, definitely don't need the grid stamps to make invoices absolutely not but i do one of the things i do recommend it because oh it is just amazing paper and it is invoice paper i do i do like this these invoice books so i do recommend getting one of these um because oh they're perfect and for a start it's an invoice book so you've already got the invoice there and all you have to do is add your stamps so there's an alternative for you if you want to make vintage documents vintage invoices um there you go this paper is absolutely brilliant for it absolutely brilliant for it because one it seeps through as well which makes it look really old this one i really do love um i forgot i had this paper and the paper that I got off of Amazon as well. I quite like that. That is quite cool. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I prefer my tea dyed paper. Like I said, I didn't realise it was printed. But I really... Uh, yeah, I think they, them two turned out really cool. 
so thank you everybody for being here i hope you give this a go if you do don't forget to tag me because oh, i want to see your vintage documents and your vintage invoices uh i might you could do like ledgers and wills and things like that oh, oh my mind's boggling so yeah, definitely tag me and show me what you make because I'd love to see it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. We've got a, this one is like a bonus because I feel I, I uploaded yesterday and now we have another video. So <gasps> ah, will I upload tomorrow? Will I? Will I? Yeah, probably because I'm on a roll and I need to show you what I'm going to do with all this stuff that I'm making. So all these vintage documents and also the shipping tags. And I need to finish my my little um, oh, flip book as well that I made. with. Right. So thank you everybody for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.